Welcome back to Chicago Independent Television. Scientists have sounded the alarm on the overuse of antibiotics in the livestock, which could spawn antibiotic resistant super germs. We'll learn more in this segment. My name is Jessica Fui and I'm the Midwest Organizer for Food and Water Watch. We're really excited about the Chicago City Council passing a resolution urging Congress to pass PAMTA and PARA, bills that would limit the use and abuse of antibiotics on factory farms. My name is Everly Macario and I'm here today to be part of a meeting with Alderman Burke. And the purpose of this meeting was to show support for two acts that would eliminate the misuse of antibiotics in factory farms. And what that means is that currently factory farms use sub-therapeutic levels of antibiotics to assure that the food animals that they raise are, grow faster and bigger and uh, that they can keep the animals in crowded areas. And that scenario is actually a perfect recipe for antibiotic resistance because the low sub-therapeutic levels of antibiotics kill off the weaker bacteria, leaving the stronger bacteria to survive, and then those stronger bacteria reproduce, and then the next generation becomes more resistant to antibiotics. We're pretty much at the end of the pipeline for a lot of the antibiotics that we have for use um, therapeutically against um, bacteria. There are some bacteria for which there are no antibiotics left um, that are licensed for um, human use. And so um, one of the things that we do at the MRSA Research Center is to actually develop new drugs, um, novel drugs with novel targets for um, MRSA. And um, as we do that, we hope that um, as there are more restrictions, we can preserve the new antibiotics that we develop and bring down the pipeline. What the, what the Preservation of Antibiotics for the Medical Treatment Act does is it eliminates use of eight classes of antibiotics that are essential for human medicine to no longer be used for economic reasons in food animal production. Those are growth promotion and feed efficiency. Animals that are sick will remain allowed to be treated by antibiotics and by illness. That would be inhumane not to, but it preserves the antibiotics that are most critical for human medicine to only be used to treat human illnesses.